one more video before I go and get my drink on. You guys know I love James Williams stuff, hence the Raptor Wakazashi over there and the other CRKT things I've gotten. Now, when I got this, I thought I get maybe you got someone's uh, um, previously owned because I was expecting assisted opening, but as you can see, it is not. So I was like, I could have sworn this thing was assisted opening. Nope, my dumb ass can't read. It was the smaller versions that had the uh, assisted opening. Okay, so I'm still good with it. Good to go. This is the Usanashi no I uh, can't remember what that means, but I will put that down in the bottom. I think it meant like secret dark or something. Anywho, <laughs> it has the uh, the lock on there, basically turning it in on, on, to almost a fixed place. Almost there as far as the sturdiness. Of course, a lock, a folder will never be as sturdy as a... Uh, a fixed blade. This comes really close. Frame lock, not liar lock. And yeah, I must have bumped the lock. Because then I can't get it closed. <laughs> uh, overall specs and dimensions will be in the, uh, the, in the bottom down here, of course. Has a deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible. You just take that pin out and just move it around. Uh, of course, James designed these after the, the, uh, the Japanese Tanto, 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 jump on it. <laughs> uh, kind of a silly move today. Uh, but anyway, he designed these for piercing, you know, stabbing more than slashing, which the edge is pretty sharp. I stropped it. It has a thick feel to it, so it's not that bleeding razor edge you're going to get with some of the knives, like the Benchmades, you know, that little Benchmade I got, or, um, you know, Spyderco that kind of edge but it's meant for piercing and it also works good in the ice pick grip like you have this this little groove here and when you put your thumb there this thing you're not going to go down to where the blade is unlike on some of the CRKT the, the, the you know the, the he show and the um the shinbu you know the ones I showed in the video before the last one in the boxes so Really good for stabbing and thrusting. Look at that, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then of course, as soon as you deploy the blade, your thumb is right there on the jimping, ready to push that up. So if you get into a fight or to a, into a tussle, um, I don't know if I won't focus. You know, you, you got the option of turning this into the fixed blade option to where if your hand does move the frame lock or tries to move the frame lock, it's not going to move. It's in there. And of course, you back it off, close it up, good to go. It's got a good weight to it. This is, these are G10 scales. I'm not sure what this part of it is. But yeah, overall, I like it. I don't do many knife reviews, just my little uh, first impressions you guys can watch. We all juggle knives and cutlery lover and so on and so forth for more in depth videos, but I usually try to show what I get so you guys can ask me my opinions on it. If you care about my opinion. Uh, James Design, Williams Design, Otanashi no Ken. I like the kanji on the blade, looks really cool. And I think one of the reasons this, um, the blade's black, obviously, is so it won't be seen at night. Somebody starts some shit with you, you know, they won't see this coming, especially in the ice pit grip. You know, it looks like a cigarette lighter almost like this if you're in the dark, but you got that wicked blade down there. And it doesn't feel too overbuilt. It doesn't feel like a, um... Oh God, what are those things called? ZTs? Zero tolerance. So that doesn't feel like that, but it's overbuilt enough to where it doesn't feel flimsy. I feel like it's going to break in your hand. Overall, it feels good just playing around with it, getting used to it. I would have liked to have uh, assisted opening because it's. I'm not used to quick drawing it yet. I'm not used to pulling it out and deploying it yet. I'm going to definitely practice with this, so... It's going to be one of those, I fill it with on the couch knives until I get it right. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video.
Uh, I got word from Jason. My Motohara should be here next Friday. And then but probably to my house shortly after that. I'm on vacation after this Friday. So you guys look for some more videos of me cutting some stuff, doing some really dumb things probably, and talking some shit and drinking a lot. We will see you next time. Peace.